All right. We got another retiree <laughs> on the list. <laughs> Which again, I don't think it's like a bad, like worse, but I think it's just like sad. Um, and I think more so for the sports and for females in sports. But one of my um, low moments in sports for 2022 is Serena Williams retiring. Um, I think. As a woman who has always been passionate about sports and used to work in sports, she was always an athlete that I really looked up to. Um, I think that she probably, I would beg to place a bet on it, that she's probably the most covered female athlete um, because she was just constantly talked about for our, the entirety of her career and our lives, as she deserved to because she was absolutely dominating on the court um so i think it's just sad to see again a good player um leave not only for like female representation and female athletes but again for like the sport of tennis um because as a, I would say i'm more of like a casual tennis fan like i pay attention when it's the bigger um tournaments and things like that and like what the big names in the sports are doing and without Serena Williams, I think it's a loss for um, the sport of tennis and just the coverage, at least within the U.S. I know it's a lot bigger in other countries and internationally. Um, but I just remember when the news came out that she announced her retirement, I was so sad. Um, because, again, it's one of those athletes that we've watched our whole lives and I've always enjoyed and um, looked up to and admired her as a female and a leader and just an advocate for um, women in sports. So I think it was definitely a sad day when she retired. But again, good for her. She's been doing it for a long time. Um, she wants to spend time with her family, which she absolutely deserves. Um, so yeah. I'm interested to see where tennis pivots because I think they said Roger Federer is planning to retire this summer too. So you're losing, you know, your top female and male player in the same year. I think he already retired. I don't know. I'm reading an article from October. Yeah, he definitely retired said, because um, I remember, and I almost put him, like I was going to put Serena Williams slash Roger Federer retiring. Um, but yeah, I remember there was a clip I saw of him and Djokovic like crying um, just because they've enjoyed playing with each other all these years and having the good competition and they had that camaraderie. Oh. So, yeah, it's hard when you have those top two athletes in your sports leaving. Well, I need Forbes to rewrite this article. <laughs> oh, I get it. I just read it wrong. Okay, yeah, they're gone. I don't listen, I don't watch tennis, obviously. I don't know what's going on. Um, but, I mean... She's the most covered, yeah, like you said, she's the most covered female athlete. She's one of the most highest female tennis earners ever. She's made probably, she's probably worth more than any other female athlete yeah. we've ever seen or may ever see again. So how do you, how do you go on promoting the sport without her? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sure um, when I was reading the article about both their retirements, they, like, highlighted um, there's a lot of young up-and-coming tennis players. Um, one of them, I forget, I think he was, like, 19 years old, which is just, like, mind-blowing to me because I'm 28, and I'm like, what? And he's just competing on the world stage, like, casual. Um, so I think there's an audience, like, there's a lot of good up-and-coming players uh, players, it'll, like you said, depend how they cover it. Um, and if they gain the popularity that players like Serena Williams and Roger Federer have, um, especially within the U S and I just have enjoyed watching Serena Williams absolutely dominate, um, at her craft. And I think it's so cool to see an athlete who has trained and dedicated her entire life to a sport and she was a huge success. Um, so, again, I don't, like, even talking about, like, Coach K, like, same with Serena Williams. I don't know if we will ever see an uh, athlete, like, dominate in tennis like she did. Or even, like, a 
this is like a very over generalization, but like a female athlete in general, because she's like, at least in my head, the most successful female athlete that I can think about that I've experienced watching. I think that's a fair statement at this point in time. I think we're very lucky to have been able to see some of the athletes and coaches we have. Um, So we'll see what the future holds. But, I mean, it would take someone obviously insane to knock her off, like, the best female athlete mountain. Yeah. So. Also, do you know another, not a fun fact. And I hate to do this because I'm like, her husband. But her husband is the creator of Reddit. I didn't know that. That is a fun fact for sure. This is great. Like, I remember when it was announced. I'm almost positive it's Reddit. Or is it Tinder? If I was married to someone with that much money, I wouldn't do anything. Yeah. I don't really do anything now. Like, she's starting her family and stuff. Yeah, Reddit. That's crazy. Yeah. So I always thought, like, when it was announced and it was like, yeah, she's dating, I don't even know his name, but the creator of Reddit, I was like, holy shit. (laughs) Casual. But she's way cooler than him, so. Obviously. (laughs) Who's cooler than Serena Williams? Not me. Literally nobody, in my opinion. 